Good morning, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. I got my bears on today, the cubs, the brew, the cubbies, and Mr. Poo Poo here going on. So I want to welcome you here. This is day 13th, July the 19th of the series we're running for July, which is my top 31 albums that introduced me to these bands or these artists. And the artist that we're going to talk about today, or the album we're going to talk about, and the artist we're going to talk about, Peter Gabriel, Security. So this was my first album by Peter Gabriel and coincidentally it was not this particular CD but the first album I had was uh, a German version of this album then later I got the regular version and I got a CD with the regular version and then now I got this CD which I've had for quite a bit of time but all these albums for me it was a big time period for me um as I had begun to expand my horizons. And this was one of the albums that began to set that tone. A very important album to me and introduced Peter Gabriel to me. At that time period, I thought Peter Gabriel was a solo artist. I had no idea or any inclination that he was connected to Genesis. To me, Genesis was Phil Collins's band. I didn't even know that Peter Gabriel had ever played with him. But once I got this album, I started checking out some of his stuff, and then I found out from somebody that he was uh, indeed the original vocalist for Genesis, which was a surprise for me, but uh, nevertheless a great one. So on this album, um, lots of really good kind of rhythmic stuff that he's become known for, that uh, world music if you prefer, lots of really good songs here. The opening track, Rhythm of the Heat, uh, was probably my favorite for the first bit, other than Shock the Monkey, which I heard on the radio. Uh, San Jacinto has now become my favorite song on this album and has been for some time. I Have the Touch and uh, The Kiss of Life, both very upbeat, kind of different sounding songs that also had a big impact on me. Uh, Lay Your Hands on Me, another great track. Um, Gabriel showing his ability to make the use of words really well. Um, yeah, just uh, the only song on this album that really didn't do much for me was Family and the Fishing Net. I just didn't, it didn't stick with me very well. Also appearing on this album with Peter Gabriel, Jerry Marotta, Tony Levin, Larry Fast, David Rhodes, John Ellis, Robert Lanieri, uh, Morris Pert. Um, Steph, Stephen Payne, David Lord, and even Peter Hamill is on this. Jill Gabriel and his own dance company as well. Yeah, so lots of uh, uh, people appearing on this fantastic album. Lots of rhythm sounds here. This is a very rhythmic album. Lots of really catchy kind of almost um, African sounds too. Very similar to... Um, Paul Simon, not as much, a uh, lot less, but still some of that sound going on here. The use of the drums in the way in which he uses them. Always kind of, his use of percussion is always very advanced in a lot of ways. Is this a progressive album? Yeah, I think it probably is a progressive album. Lots of progression here. A lot of that world sound starting to come here too. To me, this is kind of a bit of a transitionary album from the sound of his first three albums, which were more... Um, rock oriented um, classical in nature and stuff like that to this one which is more progressive in nature and a lot more of the electronic sound going on here than on the previous three albums and then going forward he really goes that distance but this is also the big thing about this one is this was one of the first videos the shock the monkey was one of the first videos that I seen and he's become somewhat famous for making his videos um, and this is the first one I believe he did with Shock the Monkey. Absolutely killer. So overall, a great introduction to one of my favorite, one of my top nine artists now, my uh, group of nine now, not eight anymore, since Pink Floyd has now joined the ranks. But P. 
Peter Gabriel was the last one to join before Pink Floyd. Well deserved many years of contributing to my music love and uh, well deserved to, to be in that group. So uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to make any comments about this album, Peter Gabriel, or anything I've said, or even Pooh Bear here if you want. And um, don't forget the notification bell, and we will be back again tomorrow with another one of my top 31 albums for the month of July that introduced me to these groups. So take care and have a good one. Goodbye.